After several years and many vacations around Michigan, from the tip of the UP to Point Moulet, we finally made it to Frankenmuth. Tara and I had always talked about stopping in on the way up north, but it was never really in the cards. In early April, we decided to finally head up there because it's a short trip and we both had the time. I'd been to Frankenmuth many times with my family and I've always enjoyed stopping in there, mostly for the Bavarian Inn Lodge, which to me was always a lot of fun. There's your doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, that's a German word too. Did you know that? Yeah. What about Doppler radar? The whole bottom floor of the place is an arcade and there are a bunch of pools as well. At the far end is a restaurant and a mini golf course, all indoors. She'd never been there before. We ate at a restaurant called Lorelei in the hotel later on. I'm not sure if I had ever been to it before. There are a bunch of little shops around town. One of the shopping areas looks like a replica of a small medieval village. Across the street is the Bavarian Inn, not to be confused with the Bavarian Inn Lodge where we were staying. There are more small stores here, and a restaurant where they serve what I hear is the same chicken that's served at Zender's, which is the famous chicken restaurant across the street. Word on the street is that the same family owns both places. There's also a Zender's hotel down the street, but from the pictures I've seen, I don't think that it's as nice as the Bavarian Inn Lodge. I could be wrong. family had always gone downstairs to the bar to eat. I talked up the pizza to Tara, not being sure if it was even that good and perhaps I'd remembered it wrong, but it turned out that the pizza was good so I wasn't a liar. Your taste may vary, obviously. The next morning, before we headed to Port Austin, we went to the medieval shopping area, as it was closed the first day that we went there. We bought a few things at a store that sold various kinds of olive oils. We stopped in at a competitor's place, but she didn't like their wares as much. I was dumb and bought a ticket to the Hall of Mirrors for something like $8 a person, maybe 10 <laughs> That's a mirror. That's a mirror. Oh, I'm in a dead end. Don't lose me, sucker. So I think we're going back from whence we came, you know? See, now my eyes are adjusted, my. Is that what we did? This right here? Open it up and see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We went to a couple of hot sauce places after that, and she had a few samples. one more stop at what I believe is called the Cheese House before leaving town. Then we made our way up into the Thumb. We stopped at a little market called Luke's. It was about 45 minutes from Frankenmuth. The prices there were the cheapest I had ever seen. I wonder if everything is that cheap in the Thumb. The footage didn't turn out great as I had my exposure set incorrectly, but I thought that I'd leave it in because it wasn't bad enough to discard. I believe the name of the town that it's in is Seabwang or Seabwang, something like that. After that, we headed on down the road to Port Austin to see the tip of the thumb. 